I will just uh, like to help you compute your college education fund. So, a uh, simple way lang to how to prepare, and I'll show you uh, how could you achieve this in simple matter also. So, um, let me share my screen. Here we go. Nisan, uh, we think how we could start the college education fund. So, I'll show you basic concept, what to prepare. Okay. So, are you ready to send them to the best schools in spite of rising cost of education? So, this is the college funding. This is what uh, we experience uh, right now, the rising cost. And maybe you said to me, kami mo sa akin, na, oh, uh, sa mga college, sa mga state, university ko na pag-aralan yung anak ko. Kasi, uh, libre doon, yes. Um, maganda po yun, libre. Pero, what if, uh, kasi may mga requirements yan, eh. uh, maganda sana ako, libre. But what if, wala doon sa college university or state university yung gusto ng anak natin. What if may mga exam kasi yan eh. What if hindi nila kaya. So, hindi natin masasagot yung tanong na yun. Pero, ngayon pa lang, pwede natin paghandaan itong mga cost na to. Okay? So, that's the reason why and that's the importance of college funding or college preparation. Kasi hindi natin alam in the future kung ano mangyayari. So, we better prepare for the best. No? Ngayon tayo and uh, if the worst, uh, prepare for the worst and when the worst happens, ready tayo. If not, uh, di maganda, we have a spare cash. So, the average rate of increase na uh, tuition, so this is another challenge. So, it's 6.48% every year. So, before pa nga, 12%, pero uh, averaging down from the rate is 6.48%. So, kung 100,000 ngayon, magkano na ba siya pag mag-aaral o magkakalit yung anak natin? Okay? So, in planning, we need to see how much we need to prepare. So, dadali lang natin yung pera ngayon doon sa i-inflate natin with 24%. Okay. Let's start the planning so what school or university you want to prepare for your child so you want the best so want of the best and mga expensive schools we need to plan for it how much ba ngayon and how much it in the future kung kailan mag-aaral na yung anak natin and with by inflating it 6.48 percent which is the average inflation for tuition let's go we need. Okay. So let's take this example, Ateneo. So you just search it to the internet and click this one. And, and for this, the undergraduate tuition fees uh, ranging 92,000, 12,000 for basic fees and other fees. So that's around 107,000 pesos. So let's make it a whole number, 110,000 per SEM. So dalawang SEM, it would be 220,000 right now, ngayon 2022. So sakto because of, uh, uh, tawag dito, uh, K-12 program, uh, 18 years na no? um, studies. So, sa 220,000 pesos every year for tuition fee alone lang to without miscellaneous. Usually, ang tuition daw, it's around one-third of the total expense kasi may bound pa yan, may projects pa yan, and other things, no? Transportation. So, sa 220,000, dadalhin natin to sa 608, ah, sa 2040 by inflating uh, 6.48%. So, by inflating that, that is around uh, 682,000. So, tama ba yun? Okay. So, you could do also manual computation. 
kahit simple calculator lang. Let's say 220,000. Ta times lang natin sa inflation na 6.48 which is 1.0 0.648 Then, ilan yun? 18 years kung zero pa si baby, kakapanganak lang and you want to start planning uh, Let's press this 18 times 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, no, 17. So that's around 639 or 600. Uh, 17. 17 pa lang pala. So balik ko, isa pa. 680, no? Exactly. Then... So that's 682,000. That's good for one year. So depending kung ganong ilang taon siya mag-aaral for usually naman pagpasok mo ng college is ano, times number of years na lang yun. Eh. Kasi kung anong nabuta mong tuition fee, uh, basta hindi ko malis, magiging ano na yun, same na yun. So let's say ang napili ng anak mo would be four years preparing four years ng course or ng college, that's 2.7 million. And sa 2040, and if five years naman, mga engineering, usually five years yan, another course, so abutin siya ng 3.4 million. That is for tuition fee alone lang. So, paano ba natin uh, pinaplano ito? So, meron tayong straight computation na ito ang ta-target natin, the tuition fee. So, let's use the time value of money. Okay. So, using the time value of money, how much would be our target? Is, let's say for 4 years, 2728. Two seven two eight. So the future value would be two seven two eight. One, two, three. So, 2.7 2. million. Ilang years natin paghahandaan? Let's say 18 years. And if we found an investment that generated 8% every month, every year. So, magkano ba prepare natin every year? So, having this uh, amount. So, wala pa tayo na start mag-invest. Zero pa. Or PMT. And how much by ko contribute natin every year? So here, we need to prepare 72,000 every year. That generated 8% every year para ma-attain natin itong 2.7 million. So that's a straightforward uh, computation. So what if naman uh, hindi uh, wala pa dun yung ano mo ah uh, hindi mo kaya mag ano ba to yung 7 to 8 every month tap calculator calculator So, magkano to would be every month. So, that's around 6,000 eh, every month. 
10,000 okay, prepare mo then you will put in an investment vehicle that will generate 8% so ma-attain mo yung uh, college education fund that is needed pero that is a straightforward no? uh, straightforward computation lang yun and uh, ang, as a financial advisor uh, we take in consideration yung mga things na pwede mangyari in between while planning no? pwede uh, pwede mong gawin yun straightforward pero you could also do something like na you get an insurance that worth 2.7 million and uh, insurance 2.7 million plus investment para ma-attain mo yung 2.7 million na coverage. So, mag-iiba na yung computation nun. So, financial advisor can help you prepare for it. Bakit kailangan natin ng 2.7 million? Kasi uh, we put in a risk analysis na dun or risk factor na something happens in between uh, kapag aral pa rin yung anak natin. So, if you want a detailed uh, computation regarding with your needs, kung ilang taon na yung bata ngayon, and magkano yung kailangan natin, uh, you talk to your financial advisor and if you want me to be one, uh, you could send me a message or comment doon sa baba so I could uh, set an appointment so we could discuss uh, regarding the planning.